Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan. It's time for Two Ticket Tuesday. You do not know this because I could not record from the wheel a week ago, but I crushed Two Ticket Tuesday uh, last week. I played four of them uh, using cube tickets from that I got them for free for testing the beta client. And uh, I got two second places out of 32, one top four, and uh, lost immediately in one. So I have high hopes here. I have enough cube tickets to play three or four. Oh, four I, it's enough for four, but there are difficulties with the fourth. Uh, so I'm gonna try to play some more two ticket Tuesdays. There's one more Tuesday left, right? Yeah. So, but I'll play at least two today. Here are the cards. So first, le let's check the mythics. I really suck at Sildrek, but not in this format apparently. Okay, they're all crap except for uh, Battle Driver. Now we are checking the colors. Listing the playables. Here are some strong white playables, which is surprising. Uh, I do all this, but I then end up playing blue always, pretty much. And black most of the time. I'm not playing the elite arcanist. Uh, not even in sealed, I think. And I see here double scroll thief and uh, a little removal. That might be enough for me. Uh, double Sengir is pretty good. Uh, Liturgy, Blightcaster, Siphon Sliver, Quag Sickness. The Grim Return is playable in a pinch. Knowing uh, Zombie, Corpse Waller, Child of Night. Hmm. Gazer, Devil, Devil, Battle Sliver. That's pretty strong. Battle Driver, Malhorn, Firecat, Firecat, uh, Dragon Egg, Blur Sliver, Cadmerator, Shock. It looked like a sacrifice deck was forming there, but uh, we have two Sliver Constructs here. I don't know. Howl, so powerful. I hate Troll Light. Well, green is cute, but... Okay, white is gone. Hmm. Black red is really deep here. This was the hardest pool in a long time. Blue really doesn't have any super powerful cards. Let's try to build black red here. See what happens. But I'm not sure about black red. <laughs> These are 28 cards. So we can probably drop the sliver constructs. And the altar sweeps, maybe. Child of Night doesn't do a whole lot in an aggressive deck. That neither does Dragon Egg. Oops, sorry for drinking. Can we get away with 17 land here when we have all these 5 drops? And actually, Blightcaster doesn't have a target, right? His target is Quag Sickness, so he's gone. And I really like to cut one of these cards, but they are so powerful, so I'm not doing it. Uh, hmm. Okay, we are cutting Child of Night anyway. I'm going to 18 land here. He's our only life. No, we have the Siphon Sliver. Yeah. We are doing it. And I think I need to play it in land with uh, all these 5 drops. 
Uh, I look for excuses to play 18 land in this format. Can I get away with 8 mountains? I think I can, so I add another swamp. I go 10-8 for corrupt. Uh, so it's 16 creatures, and the stuff that is not creatures is removable. Oh, except Grim Return then. I'm a bit suspicious of this card. Only have 5 removal. We should target it. Is it crap? Maybe it is ultra crap. And I would be better off with the Child of Night. So let's see if I'm missing something here. Um, no. No. So 70 creatures, 22 lands. That sounds like a recipe for success. Uh, M14 to Tuesday to, to, to on the 19th. Red, black, uh, is it control even? No, not with the Ragathon fight cats. But uh, yeah, this is what we are doing. And here we go, we do not play first in this format. Our opponent DJ Aspire for you. We do not want to mulligan. He mulligans to 5. Looks good so far. Uh, we don't want him to have uh, mana, right? Mana is bad for him. That fourth land will be really critical here. Blur sliver. There is the fourth land. Uh, I think we attack here. He didn't want to trade last turn. Maybe he doesn't want to trade now. Oh, he traded. But one for one in him at this point seems good. Now I need the fifth land, right? But if this Malhorn will get to do its thing. Pretty well off. I actually have five beasts in a red green deck. But I still think the removal is more powerful. From black. This was a decent pool. Advocate of the beast. Can't do anything, right? So we just run over him. Saying gear vampire. Make an ancient. But that ancient dude awoke too late, right? I think so. Dragon egg.
well, this is what we'll do. We'll play Bursliver. Attack with everything. He should block Mar Marauding Malhorn with uh, the mountain. And then I Cog Sickness it. Uh, blocking the Pitchburn Devil is pretty stupid, right? Okay, I do 3 damage to you. Uh, is there anything in the sideboard that we could use here? We are playing against the red green. I don't think so. Let's do it. Looks good to me. Maybe Academy Raider isn't the best in the world. Okay, let me do my thing again. I don't even want to kill Striking Sliver. Because he's so bad. I do want to be prepared to shock it when he's troll hiding it. Hmm. Kill the mana guy. Everyone has first strike. That will be a problem. So let's uh, dig ourselves out of that problem. Hmm. Okay, let's look at this card. We'll throw away the fire cat. No. Child of Night. Yes. And get another vampire. So then we'll have to play the fight cat. And what are we throwing away now? Pitchburn Devil over Sengir? I think so. Uh, yep. Yeah. Go, go, Sengir Vampire! Look at that! Shivan Dragon! That really scared me. And changed the situation a lot. And I can't really do anything about it before I draw two more swamps, but I can double block it with two Sengirs. That won't feel great, will it? Oh, slivers. Getting more powerful. Getting closer to the corrupt. Uh, I think I have to play the Pitchburn Devil. Uh, the Minotaur Abomination, I mean. One more swamp. Glad I put 10 swamps in. You he kills the Sengir. So now things are getting dangerous. Dangerous. And uh, that swamp will be a pretty good top deck.
Geyser. Geyser is good enough, I guess. So I'll block and I'll burn it. He has six toughness. I can't attack with the Minotaur Abomination. Blur Sliver doesn't do anything here. Except that it is a random sliver. Little overkill. And then uh, corrupt on the predator predatory sliver. Making those guys small and useless. And then Minotaur Abomination can go to town. And he has some serious backup coming. Whoa! Interesting. That's a bit scary, actually. But my blow next turn will be pretty hard. Now he has five toughness defending him, but that's not enough. Or oh, five power. Well, maybe it is enough. It's enough to defend himself against something. So he can attack with six next time. I think I'm gonna charge with everything. And give him one even two good blocks, but two good blocks kills him. So I have eight, twelve, yep, he needs to block one of those. I'm attacking with everything. Okay, maybe, maybe this is not the control deck. <laughs> this will leave him with three life. So I could die on the crackback. And I do discard this card. And got another one. But he can only do 3 damage here, right? Uh, okay. I knew about that. Uh, what? Okay, good that I didn't write good game. Uh, so what happens if I attack with everything? Not a whole lot, actually. So I might be forced to stay back. He doesn't have haste. Uh, though I should attack with the pitch burn level.
corrupt has already gone, yes. Lots of dead creatures. Liturgy. Oh, he's way too non-aggressive, right? So I attack with the Pitchman Devil again. And play the Malhorn for a huge attack next turn. Hey, wait a minute. The Malhorn has haste. Oh, horrible misplay. Damn it. And now it kills the battle rider. Okay, well, this should be all I need to do, right? The fact that he is attacking here doesn't really change anything, no? <laughs> Another red mana would have been excellent. But here it comes. And I'm all in. All he needs is a bolt. Can block that with that, that with that. But he needs and then that with that, and that kills him. Well, uh, this is single elimination, so this moves me to um, the next round. Thank you for watching.